got VTEC? Well, here's how it works, at least in my understanding. Now, you have your cam lobes in this drawing right here. You have your cam lobes, and these cam lobes open and close your intake valves in a normal, everyday driving under 4500 RPM. As these are moving around and around and it's pushing up your rockers and moving your intake up and down, this is great for a low torque, strong acceleration. Now, when VTEC, when VTEC kicks in, it there is a hydraulic control valve. When you hit 4500 RPM and above, the hydraulic control valve, there's a sensor. The solenoid activates and it sends, the computer says, hey, VTEC time, it sends oil pressure through the camshaft and the oil comes in here and it pushes this pin, this piston-like, oh, it's so awesome, this peg pushes it down and the oil goes in there and it flows into the other, oh man, and this peg right here, it moves over, pressurized oil goes in the middle and the middle rocker arm which pushes out a peg, the peg comes out into the other rocker arms which synchronizes your three rocker arms together and this is moving at high RPM, high speed and these are synced up here to the middle rocker arm at a high lift, the middle rocker arm is a high lift cam profile so the high lift cam profile comes up here and contacts all three of your rocker arms and it's awesome which helps your intake open longer more at high speeds your air fuel ratio is like awesome at that point you have a high speed air and fuel going into your combustion resulting in more power your solenoid the sensor informs the computer that it's time for VTEC. Time for variable, variable valve timing. It's time for it. Which results in a higher lift. Oh man. And, and, which results in your three rocker arms being synchronized together, allowing more fuel and air to be injected into your combustion chamber which results in more power. Boom! The exhaust goes out. More power for that piston to go up and down. VTEC is amazing.